Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. Today we're going to be talking about the worst complication in laser tattoo removal. And if you like this type of information, help me out. Click subscribe and hit the little bell to be alerted to future videos. The worst complication you could have from laser tattoo removal, in my opinion, is the compartment syndrome. And the reason I'm going to do this video today is because a few weeks ago, I had a young man come to the office with a compartment syndrome of his arm. He had a full sleeve tattoo and a local spa had lasered him from the shoulder to the wrist completely around the arm in one full session. Now every time we laser a tattoo there's swelling. If we laser a tattoo on the chest there's swelling. You just don't notice it. Tattoo on the belly, swelling. Again we don't notice it. But when you laser a tattoo on an extremity there is swelling and you do tend to notice especially if it's close to the wrist or the ankle. When you laser a full sleeve tattoo and you go from the shoulder to the elbow in one session and completely around the circumference of the arm you could get so much swelling that you cut off the blood flow to your fingers and toes and it's a very dangerous situation. In the case of this patient who showed up here I had to send them to the emergency room for a surgical incision and decompression. In other words, they would take his arm and make an incision in the skin, a long incision. Sometimes they have to put incisions into the muscles as well to relieve the pressure. You see, when we look at our arm, there's an anterior compartment and a posterior compartment. And those compartments contain arteries, veins, nerves, and muscle. And all of those soft tissues are compressible. And should the swelling get to the point where it cuts off blood flow, then you start to have problems. So how do we avoid making a compartment syndrome? Well, you have to take your time and you have to explain that this is going to be quite a process to laser your full sleeve from the shoulder to the wrist. Normally, on the first day, I would do something the size of my hand. Then three or four days later, another area the size of my hand. Three or four days after that, another area the size of my hand. And so forth and so on. Usually it takes four to six sessions just to go from the shoulder to the wrist. But what that does is allows each area to swell and start to resolve on its own. Now should a compartment syndrome develop, there are a few things you could do. Sometimes steroids will help it. Other times it's too severe for steroids to help and you need a surgical decompression. The photographs of the surgery are a little too graphic for YouTube. But you can imagine what it would be if you had to have an incision in your forearm from the wrist to your elbow. It's very disfiguring and you could actually lose some motor control should you hurt the nerves in the arm. So therefore, if you have a full sleeve and you want to have it removed, you have to go to someone who knows what they're doing and you never ever go from the shoulder to the wrist in a single session. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something and have a good day.